Hi there, my name is Bruce Rain from Brankus Creations, and if you have been watching my series on repairing a battery damaged Macintosh SE30, I thank you very much. Uh, today I did part five, and to be honest, I didn't really achieve that much. Um, I sort of looked around the board looking for problems, but I was getting the SEMA CMAC pattern um, and replaced a couple of components that probably weren't bad and poked around with a multimeter and oscilloscope, but really didn't get anywhere. So after the live stream had finished, I uh, started actually looking towards where I thought the problem was. And that was around this area here. Now, this is where all the battery damage was, and there are quite a few damaged vias. And I had done a lot of trace repairs around these vias, but there were a couple that looked really bad, and I was a little bit concerned about whether the linkages between layers were actually working. So as soon as I finished the live stream, I, I did this. I printed out uh, the problem area from the back and from the front, and I started working my way through each of those vias that looked a little bit ugly, and then just put a little cross through them as I finished them. Uh, and when I got to one particular via, and it was one that I had actually run a trace repair through. So I had seen that it was a problem and I'd run a trace from the top of the board to the bottom, bottom of the board, went through the via and you know repaired a connection. But when I went back to the schematic, I found that while I had repaired the connection from this location to that location, there was also one coming out the middle and so uh, it was this one here. So all I needed to do to fix it was to put a blob of solder there so that the wire wasn't just passing through the via, it was actually making connection with the via as well. Because although the connection was gone from one side, it was still working on the other side. So I put a little bit of solder on there, switched it on, Now, we're still not home free yet. Um, I can boot from a floppy, but I cannot boot from SCSI. Uh, I can't boot it using any of the third party ROMs, such as the Big Mess of Wires Rominator or the Satanic Mac Club SMC ROM. These just give me sad Mac errors. Um, when I run a snooper test, the RAM fails. The PRAM fails, the clock fails, SCSI fails, uh, CPU and ADB and FPU are fine, but we are definitely not home yet. But this is an incredibly big step forward. So I just wanted to share this with everyone so you can see uh, that this computer is one step closer to being a functional SE30. Uh, and once again, thank you to everyone who uh, has watched the stream thus far, whether you've watched a little bit or a lot, I do thank you. Um, and we're nearly there. I do hope you can join me for part six.